biglang nagkaroon ng ano yung mga bato. Buma, bumaba kasi sa lakas ng ulan, biglang nag ano yung mga bato ba, bumaba sa oh, bapakit kasi doon ang school namin papuntang ano eh, papuntang sa coal mine nung panahon ng elementary pa ako noon. <laughs> yun. Eh dahil sa pagmamain, yun, eh, ginagala, nagagalaw yung mga lupa. Buong mag-anak sila, natabunan. Mm, dahil sa landslide po, mm, ano, ng malakas na ulan. Ano, dahil po, ano, siyempre, panay, ano, panay ulan, siyempre, lumalampot ng lupa. Saka, marami din kasi doon sa amin nagko-construction. Eh. Nag-aho kayo na. So since elementary po, sinasabi po sa amin na dahil sa pagkawala ng puno, ganun, wala nang nag-hold sa soil para, para makip yung, yung kung gano'ng ka-strong, firm yung soil. So ayun po, parang nag, naging loose yung soil, kaya naging gano'n yung ano. Nasa probinsya kami, tapos nakatigil kami, um, tapos may biglang nahulog na puno, tapos sunod-sunod na yung mga yung lupa, yung damo. So nakakatakot kasi tumama siya sa ano, sa yung wire sa electric pole. Kaya medyo alanganin kasi, baka mahulog rin siya. Tapos di mo rin alam kung kailan siya titigil. Kasi tuloy-tuloy yung agos nung lupa. So di mo talaga, so alanganin talaga siya. Nakakatakot talaga. At, um, alam ko parang sa, sa puno yun eh. Kung hindi stable yung lupa, tapos kung lang masyadong puno para gapit talaga yung, yung lupa, marami talaga magkakalaan sa lahat. Uh, sa tingin ko po, ang sani ng landslide ay deforestation sa mga mountain natin. Parang dahil wala na nag-hold dun sa lupa, mas madali na siyang mag-erode. Mag Ito po muli si Benny Pacheco, isang structural engineer sa Institute of Civil Engineering at aking mga kasama. Ako si P.G. Mendoza from the Department of Psychology. I'm Mark Sarko. I'm a geotechnical engineer from the Institute of Civil Engineering. I'm Aida Tuin from the Department of Arts Studies, College of Arts and Letters. Ako naman po si Doy Rosete sa College of Fine Arts. Ngayon, pag-uusapan naman po natin ang landslide. Hindi po ito yung landslide na tambak ang mga boto sa eleksyon. Ito po yung landslide na tambak ang bato o lupa na gumuguho. At uh, palagi ko ang pwede sa ating magpaliwanag uh, tungkol sa paano ba nang kaka-landslide kasama natin si Dr. Sarko na geotechnical engineer. Doc Mark, nadinig niyo yung mga person on the street, may mga nakaka-experience na mga tao ng pamilya o kamag-anak o kapitbahay. Yeah, it seems like uh, there are a lot of people that have experienced landslides. But I guess we all know that like in the last month, there have been a lot of landslides. Uh, the thing that comes to mind is the one in Cebu, in Naga Cebu, where I think a whole mountain <laughs> came down slid, down, slid down. And then we also heard about during Ompong, the landslide that took place in Itugon Bendiget. Can you think of any other landslides that you're familiar with, that you remember? Any yung specific? Ano, nagkaroon ng earthquake, nagla-landslide rin. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Sa Japan, sa Hokkaido ba yun, yes. na uh -huh. maraming bundok, nag-landslide sabay-sabay dahil sa malakas na earthquake. Sa Pilipinas din, sa Bohol yata. Yes, uh -huh. sa Bohol in 2013, there was a uh, earthquake, as we all know, a, I think a 7.2 magnitude earthquake. And then most of the people, uh, I, uh, we were told by the governor, uh, Governor Chato, were actually uh, killed because of the landslide. And uh, if you recall in 1990, there was also a landslide. There were landslides along Kenon Road and parts of Baguio due to the Luzon earthquake. So um, landslides can be caused by earthquakes. But then I think in the, in the video that on the person on the street, we learned that Many times when we think of landslides, they are landslides that result as the result of a lot of uh, rainfall. Land, yeah. mm -hmm. So excessive. Uh, in the Philippines, I think more people are affected by rain-induced uh, landslides. Yung bang landslide talagang mm -hmm. sa mga mountainous areas? Halimbawa, sa UP Los Baños, nandun kayo for many years, uh, 
kayo ba conscious about yung posibilidad ng landslide dahil mountainous? Oh, marami kasi ako nakikita nyo along the way papuntang UPLB may mga nagka-quarry. Nagka-quarry? So, uh -huh. uh, at the back of my mind, yun yung naisip ko bukod sa nasisira na yung bundok, paano yung effect nun? Pero mas related sa floods ang naisip ko. Uh -huh. uh, so, flash floods, for example, ang nangyari doon sa bundok mismo took, uh -huh. took some lives. And what were these, uh, what were these events of flash floods and people affected by flash floods well there was a group of students uh -huh, on, that uh, uh, they were there on a, on a hiking or a, a govern a government organization thing okay. and, Boy then, Scouts, oh, and then it was right after a mm. a strong rain mm -hmm. and then uh, after a period of uh, not, not not raining and then yun nagka flash flood sa, sa bundok mismo mm -hmm. kasi mm -hmm. kung mas steep ang slope, mabilis mm -hmm. ang baba ng tubig ng ala right. ng big uh -oh. kaya flash flood. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi natin naiisip na baka pati yung soil ay na-erode na, na rin. Na-erode na. Yeah. Pa, 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 pa. Mm -hmm. Wala naman kayo naging personal experience na doon na landslide. Wala pa. Yung mga nababalitaan ko nga, katulad ng iba, yung, yung siguro hindi natin masabi kung ito ay man-induced. Yung sakali sa payatas, no? yung nangyayari ah, parang yung, 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 oh, oh, mm -hmm. yung basura oh, oh. naman. Eh, <laughs> Bumagsak. In, in Las Banos, I think, because the mountain is clayish, it's not mm -hmm. prone to It's landslide. not that prone, yes. Uh -huh. uh, Depende uh -huh. rin sa klase ng mountain the kind of material, or soil yes. or rock. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. May mga places na because of the nature of the material, it's very slow. So you really can see that the trees are right. deforming. Uh, and parang may that. warning. Pag, uh, may warning, yes. Uh, and actually, it's very slow. Uh, it really doesn't uh, affect uh, let's say people, uh, it's not very, very sudden. So in that particular case, people can easily escape from these types Pagka of landslides. Yung lupa medyo clay. Clay normally, yes. Uh, 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 na nag -recrete. normally, that's the layman description. Pero may naalala lang ako, di ba, meron kami malaking Laguna de Bay. Mm -hmm. o, ang, ang sinasabi rin ng ilang scientists, ilang studies doon, bumababaw na ang Laguna de Bay, mm -hmm. precisely gawa ng erosion. Or doon the, sa mga yes, bundok uh, na, na nakapalibot. Yes. O, yun. yun ang mm -hmm. isa pang alam ko. So, na. that is a, uh, that is another mm -hmm. thing. During landslides, one of the very common um, effects of a landslide are that the debris normally uh, uh, creates a dam in rivers. Uh, yeah. So yung flooding can result from that, particularly flash flood, if the dam, the, what we call a debris dam, uh, breaks. Okay. Yung debris, pwede nga kung medyo soil, mm -hmm. pati yung lake medyo napupuno sa ilalim. Mm -hmm. Yes. No? But, pero yung may, hal may halimbawang sinabi yung isang nag-reminish na ating person na interview, Bato daw Bato. ang bumagsak, yes. hindi yes. lupa. Yes. Hindi lupa. So, can be, uh, that's like, uh, it can be rock that uh, due to the, uh, the, the rock uh, mass. Because normally, most rock masses have a lot of joints in them. So, kapag maraming ulan, na detach itong uh, rocks from the slide and then they roll down. And that's the one in Baguio. That's the one in Baguio. Yes. Road, uh, uh, but in, uh, because mm, they're rocks yes, that, that can fall. Oh, because that in that particular fall. case, instead of them rolling down, mm. they really fall yeah. over or they topple oh. over. Especially since the slopes of Baguio along Canon mm -hmm. have been hacked out of have been hacked out so or have been slope, cut oh, oh. to build the road oh. yes na napag-uusapan oh. niyan na nabanggit niyo na nga ngayon kung tutusin merong mga mountain sides tayo mismo nagka-cut kaya yes. lalong nagiging medyo prone bumagsak no because it's very like, steep like yung mga road side na zigzag side mm -hmm. yes yung gilid right. Right. pwedeng uh, mag-slide right okay, that's no? true so to build the road they need to of course cut into the slope and then sometimes uh, there's not enough space, so the slope sometimes becomes steeper. Sometimes it's almost vertical. Such that it, na yes, siya. Pa, pa, and that's why it sometimes is very sudden because it suddenly topples over her. Eh, yung ano, yung yung sinasabi na yung daw mga nakaraang landslide, hindi naman daw dahil sa sabi ah, hindi naman daw dahil mahina yung lupa. Talaga marami daw man-made activities. So, bukod sa gumagawa ng karsada, ano pa nga ba yung mga napapabalita ng mga ibang man-activities uh, man 
yeah, human activities para napapahina yung bato o lupa? Meron bang well, ganun? actually, yung mga man-made, the, the only other man-made activity that I can think of is the case where you really have to excavate the slope, let's say, to build a new house or something like that. That's one common way. But also in quarrying and mining operations, particularly open pit operations where you need to uh, excavate material from a slope to be able to to process the material for the uh, extraction of these minerals that sometimes makes the slope steep do you think kasama sa mga in excavate dyan yung mga clay na ginagamit sa sculptures Ah, uh, well, could, could also be, but very often it's uh, quarrying or uh, things that would be used minerals. for mining minerals, for extracting of minerals. So, yung kasing nabalita kanina na sa Sambuanga yata yun, ulan, hindi ko lang na dinig kung yung ba ay lugar na may mining, nabanggit ba, o natural forest ba yun? Nabanggit nga yun dahil yung eskwelahan daw nila ay nandoon sa malapit sa Minahan, ah, yes. Minahan. na kung saan ay yes. pinuputol din yung mga puno. Yes, Sabi because nga, no, to be ating... able to mine, you first have to cut down the trees before you can excavate uh, the place for the mine. So, you, in fact, uh, most, uh, most mining engineers uh, tell me that you first need to get a permit to be able to cut down the trees. So cutting down the trees would be one uh, one uh, step before you can mine the area. Sa, sa mga tweed, kung talagang nakakalbo yung mga puno sa bundok, mm -hmm. baka lumakas yung posibilidad na maglandslide. Yes, but it really depends because there are areas so it depends in a number of ways in the sense that uh, the tree roots only grow to a certain depth. The, the bulk of the uh, uh, root mass of a tree normally is in the top three to five meters. Mababaw so, lang, five meters yes, lang. Yes, right. Okay, so okay. Uh, normally if you have soil and then that mantle of soil is around three to five meters, then the tree roots can stabilize that. Para ma mm -hmm. maiwasan yung pagguho yes. ng lupa. Right, right. Pero uh -huh. may limit pala yung kaya ng ugat. Yes, uh -huh. right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So there are cases like there's a well-known uh, slide in Japan where you have complete forests that actually slide down with among the trees and all. Yes, with the yes. trees, and, with the trees all. and all. And sometimes the, the fact that you have trees in it make it even more dangerous because you have more, it's not just the soil, so, but now you so have the trees. So what happened there? Yeah, what was the cause? Well, the, that is a natural process. Uh, actually, there is a lot of evidence by scientists that show that even areas where you have trees, They've been sliding for the past years. It's all part of the natural geologic process. There's a process that geologists refer to as must wasting, where the earth grows old and fails. So like people, the, gr the earth, yes. Na na. Na ko teka, ah. naging skin. skin na ba yan? Mm -hmm. Siyempre, natural yun, shedding. Yun ang aking natural metaphor. shedding, yes. Oh, oh. Very much like oh, that. Di ba may mga mm. natural shedding? Yun ba yun, mm -hmm. Doc yes. Mark? Tama bang metaphor yes, yun? Yes, right. That's a good metaphor. But right. how can we, how can be wise na makaiwas doon sa effect ng natural shedding ng mm -hmm. lupa? Because well, you can't, how can you tell when okay. you are building your house on, on a la piece of land that is likely to shed? Shed, shed okay. or slide? Um, very interesting <laughs> is the fact that there are, like for example, let's first go to the case where you have a lot of trees. There are really telltale signs there. Uh, if it's a shallow landslide, normally the trees tend to tilt forward because as the ground goes down, the, 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 the top is pulling down on the tree. So the tree tends to tilt down. Okay. However, if it's very deep, then the tree turns to lean backward, a la Pilita Corrales. Lean backwards. <laughs> because it's yung, rotating, yes. Delikado pala yung posture ng puno na a la yes. Pilita Corrales. Yes, Pwedeng right. Pwedeng deep, deep, deep landslide, malaki yes. yun. Wow. Yes. The problem with the deep landslide is that there's a lot of material that is coming down. Sabay -sabay. So it goes, yes, deep into the earth. And it's often very difficult 
to address in the sense that there's no engineering intervention so measures that can be, that can be done. Yes. Say you can hardly fight nature, nature that yes. way. So sometimes you just avoid. Pero ganong kabilis o kabagal yun? Araw? Weeks? Okay. Months? The, the uh, experience that most people have is that if it is shallow, it's very, it's, it, the, the leeway between the time it begins showing these signs to the time it actually fails is relatively short. But the deep-seated landslides, because the failure goes deep, deep into the ground, takes time for it to develop. Like years, time? 10 years? Does, sometimes that long, 20 years oh, and okay. the like. So, so it's a bit time time survey, yes. Yes. So in a survey, yes. So on bottom line, Doc Mark. So the tree begins, you see yeah, the tree how bending. Long, how long does it take for the tree to bend? So okay, that it becomes yes. a sign for Okay, danger. so normally you'd see that it, it takes several years, I would ah, say. So because, it's not like yes. you wake up and then it's bent. Yes, <laughs> though, if you're painting a scenery, you yes. paint kayo ngayon, paint kayo ulit 10 years after, pag nakita niyo yung pagkakaiba, alam niyo na na telltale sign. So it takes years. It yes. takes years, yes. Sometimes that's the reason why people are observing this and the fact that you have these telltale signs, they're able to identify specific areas where you have these types of uh, potential landslides. So in other words, ang bottom line, dapat kung sino man yung homeowner doon, da da dapat maging observant. Magiging observant. But then, let's say homeowner ka, there are also other signs, like for example, example, my pipes, because the ground is moving, they normally break, so the water will be coming out. Or if I have stairs outside the house, they somewhat separate. Detach. They detach from the house, yes. Kasama rin ba din yung cracks, Doc You can also have cracks on the walls, the doors that do not want to open. Kasi nagiging stuck already, or your kitchen cabinets become stuck. Or even the ground begins forming cracks in them. Yung mga may mga roads along places where the slope is uh, failing, uh, you see cracks towards but the... But that, mm -hmm. that doesn't work for flat areas, right? It doesn't work for flat areas. So it areas. has to be, when you're talking about cracks and trees bending, mm -hmm. you're referring to, to houses that on areas, areas. the areas, yes. Oh. But then... Many people think that if I'm in a flat area, I'm relatively safe. But then there have been landslides that really can travel, debris flows, as we call them, that can travel really far, How far? distance. How far? Well, it really depends. But then there have been cases of debris flows traveling as far as 10 to 20 kilometers oh away. God. So. Pag malaki yung momentum, Kung, ano? And mataas, mataas yung panggagalingan ng debris. Okay. Yes, yeah, right. And that can be really fast. So, kanina, sabi nung isang nakausap, yung neighbor daw niya nakaranas na nagkasakuna. Yes, na ah, ng, in litex. Ng landslide. So, yes. Pero sabi niya, malayo naman siya. Yes. So, uh -huh. dapat siguro na advise din ang mga tao na baka akala natin 10 meters malayo na. Yeah. Yung pala, depende sa ano yung babagsak. Yes. Baka kahit one kilometer, aagos pa. Like yes, ganun? right. Uh -uh. Wow. In the case of, there was a, the, the largest historical landslide in the Philippines is often, uh, they refer to the Ginsaugon landslide, which was a barangay in southern Leyte that was buried by a rock slide which turned into a debris flow and an avalanche. So this one traveled a total of four kilometers and they believe that the debris traveled more than 100 kilometers an hour. So people really didn't have the chance to flee, yes. So you're saying mm -hmm. rocks fell first, first. and then it, followed uh, by debris. It incised the ground, and oh. it, the rock actually, it was very big. It must have been around 5 million cubic meters of rock that came down. It broke up, and it did two things. Uh, it hit, you see a small hill, it broke up, and these rocks flew in the air. But then uh, part of it also incised the ground, and that began to flow. So there were rocks raining from the air, which is the avalanche plus the, 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 flow. the, the flow, yes. Uh -huh. The one in Naga, which mm -hmm. had very graphic uh, videos yes. you know, where mm -hmm. 
It was as if a whole mountain was sliding. Sliding, yes. And then turning into flat ground. Yes. Uh -huh. what, what kind of that is a that is, is a that? flow. That is a that flow. Is a flow. flow. Yes. Uh -huh. That's a very good example of mm -hmm. a flow. But it's a whole mountain. You're saying a whole mountain then can, can flow? slide. Yes. Right. Uh, another possible uh, example of a triggering mechanism for a landslide would be a volcanic eruption. There was a volcano that erupted in the U.S. in 1980, Mount St. Oh, Helens. Yes. And when this erupted, actually one whole side of the volcano slid down in a very, very similar way. Pero sa pang... Madalian, halimbawa na masyal lang tayo, nagpunta ako sa Tagaytay o sa Makiling, meron din mang practical na telltale sign yung pang isang araw lang, obserbahan ko para inform din ako. Hindi ako nakatira doon, hindi ko naman siya maobserbahan ng 10 years, pero yung pang araw lang o isang linggo lang ako nandoon, meron mang mga pwede nang obserbahan para masabi kong, Ah, medyo delikado ito. O kaya, ah, ito yung mas safe-safe against landslide. Well, if, uh, as I mentioned, uh, like the telltale signs are there, like the trees stilted or... Ah, sa bagay the, frozen yes, na yun Yes, doon. because... So, or you could really see cracks in the buildings and all of that. We have a campus, the UP Visayas. Yeah. They have a lot of slopes that are actually creeping down. Their administration building was actually partially buried in a landslide uh, that occurred in a, a small hill, a 90-meter high hill behind the administration building. So in, in many of their buildings there, they have staff houses that have cracks in them. What about the engineering library? Is there any chance for that to slide into NIGS? Um, <laughs> okay, well, the... It does not show any signs, yes. It does not show any signs. Kasi para nasa now. hill siya. Nasa yeah. hill, Tapos exactly, sa yes. Next. Right. Baka yung mga geologists, na-design naman yung bato. So, okay. Pero tinapyasan nila yun, diba? But tinapyasan oh, nila, yes. So. But then the thing with that is that the height above the road is actually not really that not high. Yeah. And the foundation okay. actually goes da deep because down into... And that's another thing. It's, it is, well, adobe actually, if it were a steeper slope, it would... It could still it slide? It still could slide, yes. Uh, so like, for example, there used to be a slope behind, next to the College of Engineering's new library building, there's the... Uh, there's the um, uh, Triple M, Triple M building. There's a slope there which they had to cut down to make it actually safe. That ah. was where there were houses the before. Yeah, yes. 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 the old houses. Preemptively. Preemptively, Preemptively. Yes. yes. So that's one way of avoiding the or minimizing or decreasing. So halimbawa dati matarek ikakat na para no, uh, ang final medyo yes, mild. Medyo mild. mas flatter. Ah. Yes, ah. right. Okay. So that is one. Way way of, uh, of uh, uh, minimizing the risk or what mitigating. About, what about the sunken garden? Can ah, it collapse okay. into Actually, the Actually, um, <laughs> maybe the, the sides, because the history yeah. of the sunken garden was that when, when UP moved here, they needed to build the road around. So it was a valley like... Uh, the, the topography was a valley. So I, uh, many people or my parents were describing when they were here, they were dynamiting the road where you have the tennis court and uh, the College of Engineering. And so much of the material there, they, they deposited or they filled uh, around the sunken garden. Around. Yes. Uh -huh. Not Inside the, not the bowl inside, of the yes, rock. not inside. So it created, of course, so naturally, mababa siya. Yes, yung oval road ang tinaas ng konte. Yes, ng konte. Nakano yes. ng, yes. ng effect ngayon na sunken. Na parang yeah. sunken. So dito yes. na nag sink. Yes, in yes. elevate yes. yung road. Yes, right. That's the history there. Okay. Uh -huh. Eh, actually, mataas siya. And mataas, yes. Uh -huh. So the natural ground is where you have. Obviously, like uh, Ipil and also uh, Molave and these places. So that's because mm. people have asked me, mm -hmm. they, diba, they're fond mm -hmm. of uh, playing ball and stuff like yes. that. And they're wondering whether 
those sides can collapse uh, on uh, them. So no. Actually, um, no risk. the risk is very minimal because the, 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 it's stabilized over the years. It seems like people or the engineers at the time uh, designed it properly or b compacted the road oh, properly. But there are many places in the Philippines where you have uh, new subdivisions that uh, have had to do similar work. They cut into a slope mm -hmm. and then, uh, then uh, fill into uh, another part of the slope. And sometimes it's not properly compacted. And those uh, places have uh, had landslides, but they're very, very slow. So you see cracks uh, gently or slowly developing in buildings or the houses in these subdivisions. Yes, siguro ang pagiging slow or mm -hmm. mabilis, nakaka-confuse din siguro yan sa yes, common na tao. Mm -hmm. no? Kaya hindi ko rin alam kung paano magre-react. Uh, sabihan sila na baka mag-landslide, makikinig ba sila or sabihin nilang hindi naman siguro mm -hmm. kasi kung walang direct na makita na mm -hmm. science yes. ano unknown right. risk ano? unknown uh -huh. pero pag nangyari naman pala ito ang bilis yes. Yes. Full risk. right uh -huh. i wonder kung nabalitaan niyo ba yun sa it sa itogon na yeah. nagkaroon daw ng advice yeah. para umalis ano nga ba naging reaction response ng mga nakatira o nakatigil doon sa lugar na yun uh, mm -hmm. Pagkaalam ko, they didn't leave. Hindi sila umalis kasi akala nila may shelter silang mapupuntahan. And yung shelter na yon hindi pala built din. Doon ah. sa uri ng landslide na nangyari. Okay. Well, yun ang lumalabas sa news. Yun yata ang mga mas vulnerable na mga young, like children, saka women. Nauna yata ang umalis? Oh. Pero naiwan pa rin yung mga Minus. workers, miners. Oh. Oh. Apparently, that's, they wouldn't leave because that's where their houses are located. So there's uh, what they would call valuable uh, possessions. No? Plus, the shelter that had been uh, assigned for them was their church. Mm -hmm. So they felt very protected In the no? church, inside yeah. the church. No? And of course, we're not uh, really aware of what exactly the nature of the warning was, was given yes. to them. Because uh -huh. uh -huh. it's generic. Lang yes. Uh -huh. Oh, may malakas na typhoon. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. That's true. And then so, so they took the risks. Hindi natin alam. Kasi hindi nila alam yung risk. Kung generic yung pagkapaalala. Eh, baka dati, sinabi na rin yun. Yes. Hindi naman nagkakalala. Hindi naman nangyari. Pero nakaraan talaga ang daming tubig, ano? ang daming rain. Yes, the, there was a lot of rain due and to that. And maybe that, that was not imagined. Yes, aha. Uh -huh. But it could also be that maybe there were other similar instances before where there were where there's a lot of rain and yet nothing happened and maybe they were made to evacuate and nothing happened so their confidence in that system actually uh, was compromised because they said that maybe this will be the same as last time where nothing happened. Oh, so, iba yung situation. Ito ba sa yes. landslide, may parang warning system din na kagaya ng orange rain. rainfall, oh. rainfall, mm -hmm. rainfall mm -hmm. or wind, or uh, yung but typhoon number the, one. The problem about uh, the early warning uh, systems for landslides is that they're very... Uh, uh, specific to the slope. So for a particular slope, we have a particular, or there is a particular level of rainfall. Normally it's described in terms of what we call the antecedent rainfall. This rainfall, uh, the, how much rainfall has fallen, let's say within the last 15 days, and then the amount of rainfall that has happened in the last 24 hours. That's right, they count all the rainfall in recent days, because they are still in the loop, and yes. maybe soaked right. the rock yes, or the right. soil. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Plus, if there are still coming. Yes, aha. Uh -huh. So, yung bang ating mga warning agencies, may ganong sistema kay specific na bawat street or village mm -hmm. or slope, ginagawa nila ng 
calculation para may actually it's a very um, it's a very generic one so in the philippines there are very few if i'm aware of there are only very very few cases of places where they have already been able to determine that this particular threshold or what we call rainfall threshold will trigger a landslide one place where i'm aware that they've done that is in mayon because if you recall okay. yeah reming in 2006 there was a uh, there was a flow a debris flow of uh, lahar and the peculiar thing about Mount Mayon, oh, of course, we know it's a very tall, it's more than two kilometers high, was that the lahar had big boulders in it. So these big boulders, when they're mobilized and come down, they really can be very uh, destructive. So uh, FIVOX really studied it, uh, putting sensors into the ground, and they have an idea that a certain uh, uh, level of rainfall will trigger. Ah, nabanggit that. niyo yan, nabasa ko rin at nadinig kay Director Yusek Solidum mm -hmm. na sa, sa pinatubo rin yata, mm -hmm. may ongoing study na kung ano pa yung natirang lahar na pwede rin magslide, mm -hmm. kinukwenta nila, ini-estimate nila how much rainfall would trigger. Ganun nga ka-specific. Yes. But maybe even that, hindi pa lang na-announce yung resulta, no? Yes. Na uh -huh. how many millimeters of rain over X days para mag-warning talaga sila na may imminent slide. So it needs to be very specific. It needs to be very specific. But generally, there's a, I would say, a ballpark figure. And one of the ballpark figures that have been established is that in the last 15 days, uh, you've had around 200 millimeters of rainfall, and then within a 24-hour period, it's another 100 millimeters of uh, rainfall. I, I was involved in a project recently, and we had a particular slope in, um, in Iloilo, in Tubungan, <laughs> Iloilo. And we found from that particular study that uh, there was a landslide that occurred with around 120 millimeters, same, 200 millimeters, 220 millimeters in the last 15 days. So it seems like it's somewhere in that ballpark figure, but the specific uh, the specific uh, value is actually can vary significantly. So, kahit pala sa mga geotechnical engineer, mm -hmm. baka geologists, ongoing challenge pa yan. Challenge, na yes. Mag-estimate uh -huh. talaga. Right. Uh -huh. But the additional challenge to geologists and geotechnical engineers is not only to tell when you should evacuate, right. but when oh. you should come back. Ah, yan pa. Oh. Yes, oh. because, oh. you know, we don't want to tell them come back and then there's a landslide, and then we will be tagged as a murder because we made these people come back. I mean, yeah. from a layperson's mm -hmm. point of view, ano ba yung 100 and 120 millimeters? Mm -hmm. That's so, another thing. So, paano kung ma-estimate yung torrential rain for 10 days? Right. Ganun. Uh -huh. so, Kasi ganun kami mag-measure. Wala yes. naman kaming measure. Yes. Uh -huh. Ibig sabihin, uh -huh. pag 10 days ba na sunod-sunod, tapos nasa mountainous area ako, dapat ma makabahan na ako at malis mm -hmm. na ako? Mm -hmm. Parang ganun? Well, more or less, yes. Something like that. Like, like one of the typhoons that we've had continuous rain or like even the orange rainfall Yon, warning orange, that would be okay. that would be something of course red would be also the case Pero and that it's continuously rained all right so, baka pwede naman yun na uh, can't, mm -hmm. we can't be too specific but then meron tayong parang mga general na Guideline, warnings yes. o sige uh -huh. sampung araw ng umuulan medyo Ano, mm -hmm. mag-isip-isip na kayo na kayo. meron ng landslide uh -huh. uh, And observe, risk. observe uh -oh. around because then baka may mga crack-crack na suddenly. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Naisip ko lang, Doc Mark, mm -hmm. pwede bang, wala bang early warning na yung kas galing sa folk wisdom? Uh -huh. I mean, kung tagal, nandun ka sa lugar na yon merong memory na galing sa matatanda o kung saan man, historical memory na nangyari na to mm -hmm. and you can derive, para bang kung baga mga hayop, okay. biglang... Right, uh -huh. so I'll first begin with the folk wisdom or what we sometimes call indigenous knowledge. Yes, yes. Seems like in the, in, in the car, in the cordilleras, they can identify I know that this place is prone to landslides. I okay. know where it okay. is. There was a landslide recently, I think as uh, so far back as 2015, okay. where a park in Benguet failed. Okay. And they do know that ah, that place 
has had a lot of landslides. So they, 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 they know what places are prone to landslides. They know that it normally happens when you have so many days of very heavy rain. But then what happened to Itogon? Walang historical memory. Walang man. historical memory. And maybe the people are actually not from there. Uh, yeah. oh. a good, and then, you know, ah, other things. Migrants. That, migrants. Migrants. Okay. Like, uh, there was another one. Okay. I just forgot the typhoon. But it was a typhoon after Ondoy. Uh, in this particular typhoon, there was a uh, landslide that buried a migrant community known as Little Kibungan in La Trinidad Benguet. So many of the people there were not actually from La Trinidad Benguet. They were from some other place known as Kibungan. They resettled here. And uh, the other thing that changed it was that, so they settled there, but then they built a new road. So it changed. So even, you know, the, that's one of the limitations of our knowledge. Sometimes our environment is changing. So what might have worked before okay. might uh -huh. not work anymore. Because of the yeah. big, the, the big uh, development. Human intervention. Yes, intervention. But I think Project uh, the accelerated rate. in particular has been uh, doing a big headway yes, towards uh -huh. this direction mm -hmm. because I remember in uh, in the case of Typhoon Mangkut mm -hmm. or Ompong, no, uh, Dr. Lagmai had informed me that uh, most likely the whole Ifugao area, Baguio included, no, Benguet, and would be declared a state of calamity. Mm -hmm. And he had told me that the possibility of landslides was extremely high, high yes. uh, mm -hmm. and that at the moment what they're doing is that they are mapping out the areas where there are people at risk. Mm -hmm. So it's not enough in the case of landslides no, to just say, oh, this mountain is going to have a landslide, mm -hmm. or, but where are the people mm -hmm. and where in relation to which to which yes. slopes Pride. are uh -huh. at risk, no? So Tama it's yun. kind of mapping, no? Mapping, Exciting malaking area. area. And then identifying what are the places that are exposed. exposed so that's yeah. where the uh -huh. maring, exposure uh -huh. is. Maring okay. communities, mm -hmm. maring access roads. Mm -hmm. Nabanggit din kanina, kung minsan, concerned din tayo na yung mga water stream hindi mm -hmm. makompromise. Dahil pag na-dam yun, magkakos ng backup na flood naman sa isang side. Kailangan i-mapa lahat. Okay, ito bang mga mapping tsaka mga early warning na to? I mean, alam ng tao. Kasi ngayon, nandito tayo, alam natin mm -hmm. yung studies. Mm -hmm. Pero nagtitrickle, trick, sorry for the mm -hmm. term, nagtitrickle down ba siya? Down to the at least barangay level? Para pag nagbigay sila ng warning, hindi ganito ka-generic. Mm -hmm. I mean, maramdaman talaga ng mga tao na kailangan sila mag-evacuate kasi may ganito ng history sa place. Y yun siguro yung kailangan Communication. pang -imbridge. Ang feeling ko, oh. i-embridge ko yun. Kung kulang na sa folk or indigenous knowledge dahil resettled migrant. or oh. migrant uh, community ito, yun namang scientific work, baka hindi pa rin communicated sa hindi. current mm -hmm. oh. uh, villagers no? oh. or even workers. Mm -hmm. so, And besides, sa translate pa natin yan kung technical terms maging understandable maybe sa Maybe even our media person should also be get themselves informed mm -hmm. and get this translated as soon as possible. Challenge yan, ano? And, and mm -hmm. in, instead na panay generic din yung mga news items nila. Nahirapan niya siguro sa nakumuha. Lumalabas tuloy, blame the victim palagi. Mm -hmm. uh, baka naman or yung... blame someone else. Or bl like, blame someone else. else like But there's no research yes, going on. Right. It's not that there's no research, Search. there is. Hindi nakakarating. Hindi nakakarating uh -huh. sa kanila because they don't act mm -hmm. actively... Search for if, it. if you have the experts that are working in academe or similar institutions, mm -hmm. and then they interface with the social political uh, institutions, no? for example, the local disaster risk the village, uh, reduction uh, management, mga, you know? and then they, they tell the police <coughs> to, in the case of Itogon, I understand mm -hmm. it was uh, the barangay uh, people who were told to inform. Uh, the community that they should evacuate. So it's it's hard work to make yeah. this communication procedure really very effective. But I think that's the way to go now, mm -hmm. no? Yes, I mean, we're looking to move forward. forward. Yeah. It, so, so really you know, bridge this gap. Make it understandable. Oh, Can you even yeah. imagine how to visualize this? Kung iwa warning mo, dindoy, orange, yellow, orange, red. 
Pero, Siguro may equivalent din siya. Na ganun. Kung landslide, ano ang symbols? Siguro parang ganun din. Parang kasi yung sa atin, alam na natin na yung red really is... Heavy, eh, parang, heavy, but it has to be equivalent to something. Like, uh-huh. Red, ano yun? Uh, mag-evacuate. Hindi uh-huh. pwedeng uh-huh. floating lang yung uh-huh. symbol uh-huh. na yun. Uh-huh. Ano? Pagka, pagka nakalim, sampu o labing limang araw na ng maraming rain, sabihin na trigger na yung red uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. warning. Kung pagka uh-huh. red na lahat yan, ibig sabihin, for maring flooding yan, maring in terms of landslides sa kanilang lugar, kung saan sila exposed na hazard, yun ang kanilang i-observe na red na ito. Kaya, kung ibig sabihin, evacuation na yun sa isang exposed. Sa postponement na. ng upkat, ganun yung binasihan hmm. yun, na, ano, nila. No? tinay oh. lahat pula, parang oh my God. Understandable na yun yeah. sa atin. Oh. Sa kanila, accessible yung information, oh. nagamit nila na, oh. na-warn sila para i-postpone muna yeah. ang exam. Oh. So kung paano yes, makaparatingin right. yun sa people on the street oh, or oh. the households. Oh. Ano? Oh. Kasi, That's a challenge now. Kasi, translating. And to disseminate. Disseminate it. Because really, you have this knowledge. But we are moving forward. <clears throat> for, for me to be able to access that kind of information. Yeah. And but you actually it sought it out. Yeah. Uh, well, actually, yes. So, But oh, then see? it was because I was concerned of yeah. the risk for uh, oh. So, ganun na naman. It's oh. people and hazards. Kung, kung decision maker... <laughs> kayo, o halimbawa, barangay captain kayo, kailangan ariin mo yung responsibility na magtanong, yes. ano? Yes. O, like, yes. seek out. Pumunta ka sa scientist or yes. sa P-Box man, sa Pagasa man, sa MGB man. Kasi meron palang mga ganong study mm. na lugar sa lugar. Mm. Right. Pwedeng, naman, 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 so, halimbawa, sa aming village, orange ba kami o red ba kami, mm. sana ma-translate, ano? Mm. It's kind of a, parang ways Kasi for Kasi naman talaga yung exposure yeah. ng mga... Ways for landslides. <laughs> yeah. Yun ang challenge ngayon. Ng mga, May map pa kayo. Uh, uh, app developers. <laughs> hazard <laughs> map. No, hazard map. Kahit na lang yung, <coughs> yung Kenon Road, akit tayo sa Baguio. Yes. Mm. Paggawa niya naman ng interface na along the Kenon Road, ilagay mo yung kulay din doy. Oo, Symbolically ano? iconic. Oo. I-translate mo na kung <laughs> sa stretch ng kilometer 10 to kilometer 11, red. <laughs> Sana makarating sa ganong estado para Meron talaga alam na yan. Pati ng motorist. So, para iiwasan na. Palaging oh. nag-landslide. Well, sabi nga natin, merong hazard na madalas mangyari, mas naaaral. Pero yung landslide yata, medyo madalang-dalang eh, no? Yeah. Pag nangyari, malaki, malawak. Or yung mga malalaki are the ones that are extreme events. At baka nakakalimutan na ng community lalo na kung ang mga nakatira ngayon ay nag-resettle or mga migrant or mga workers from other places. Nakalimutan na yung mahabang history ng geology. At ganun pala ka-specific, depende sa dami ng ulan, kung gano'ng katarik yung slope, at kung maybe kung, na, kung bato o lupa o kung nakat ba at napahina, kung paano lahat ng factors na yon mapagsama-sama para makonvert sa isang signal o warning. Uh-huh. Warning na... Na ma- maaring pagkatiwalaan ng pagkasabihan para hindi sila ma-false alarm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. At mat- matindi rin yung tanong. After umalis sila, halimbawa... Pa- paano ka babalik? Or kailan ka Or babalik? kailan, yeah. Or ma- may mababalikan oh, ka pa ba? Oo, makawala mm-hmm. ng mabalikan. Kasi mm-hmm. yun ang malaking pagkakaiba nito sakali sa baha. Mm-hmm. Ikaw ay nabaha, mm-hmm. pagka na- wala yung tubig... Babalik. Maari siguro mayroon ka pang pupuntahan, babalikan. Dito hindi natin alam kung mayroon ka pang mababalikan o wala. So, sa ganung paraan pala, malawak ang issue ng landslide. Uh, lalo na kung alam na natin ang lugar natin sa mountainside, kailangan pag-aralan. At yun nga, yung scientific study ng mga mapping ng hazard, saka nasaan tayo, malapit pa tayo o malayo, dapat pala talaga maging conscious. Mula sa barangay captain, mula, mula sa Maybe homeowners. Uh, ewan ko lang kung magkapasalamat tayo ng diliman tayo nasa flat. Medyo mm-hmm. plateau. So medyo mataas tayo. At mataas pa. At mataas. sabi ay matibay na bato. Yes. Mm-hmm. Pero once pupunta tayo sa ibang campuses, meron din naman tayong campuses maraming. na maraming slopes. Mm-hmm. So even within UP, talagang kailangan din pag-isipan right. ang mga local landslides. Mm-hmm. Right, right. It's been a good discussion again. Another episode. Ano nga ba yung mga tips natin para sa ating viewers? Landslides are a natural process. Uh, just like people 
uh, the earth is also moving and uh, shedding its skin. So we just have to accept the fact that whether or not, whatever we do, there will always be landslides. Speaking of that, kahit yung mga man-made activities, no? yung mga activities natin, mm -hmm. kung gusto natin may kasada dito, or housing development dito sa may pana ng bundok, uh, kailangan lang natin mag-ingat, hindi mapalala ang posibilidad ng pagguho ng bato o lupa, at lalo na dapat iwasan natin tayo mismo maging biktima ng ating sariling mga human activities. I think uh, having said that, no, we need to know and watch out for telltale signs that mm -hmm. are related to landslides. Mm -hmm. Kailangan natin talaga mapagmasid sa mga palatandaan sa lupa para pati sa mga puno. No? If you notice something unusual, we should consult with experts and appropriate authorities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pero yung pinakamahirap yung landslide na magkaroon ng one size fit all na knowledge o kaya solution o kaya intervention kasi iba-iba ang mga kondisyong lokal uh, sa pagkakapag-uusap-usap natin. Nandiyan yung uh, kalagayan ng slope, kalagayan ng lupa, rainfall, etc. So, kailangan yung expert knowledge. Hindi lamang dapat nagmumula dun sa mga sinasabi nating professionals, kundi dapat manggaling din sa community o yung tiyatawag nating local knowledge. Yung community hindi dapat maging passive. Dapat maging so source din sila ng kaalaman, maging source din sila ng planning at uh, mula sa pagre-research hanggang sa pagplano din ng mga warning systems. Dapat nanggagaling sa kanila. Dapat mamimina yon. In other words, expert knowledge and local knowledge should be bridged. Kasama na nga dyan yung pag-develop ng mga communication materials. Kasama na dyan yung mga media, mga experts, mga lokal, no? mga lokal na community, na particular talaga yung warning signals din na madidevelop for landslide. Dahil sa ngayon nga, napaka-site specific yan at maaari sigurong kung ano yung isang warning system sa isang lugar ay maaaring hindi siguro angkop sa isang lugar. No? Kaya matkapag-develop ito, pero hindi siya dapat malilihis din doon sa naintindihan na. No, yung mga naintindihan na ng mga warning systems na katulad din ng sa rainfall warning system na may red, orange, yellow, medyo may nasa ano na natin yun, eh, naintindihan na natin. Kaya ito siguro eh, kailangan i-develop din natin para sa landslide. Sa mga iba-ibang hazard na napag-uusapan natin dito, siguro itong landslide na ang pinaka-particular sa isang lugar o isang site, ano, site specific, mahirap i-generalize masyado. Uh, kaya nga siguro, lalo na, all the more, in order to mitigate landslide risks, we need to involve both local and expert knowledge. Mm -hmm. 